Bravo recently officially released the first look at the season 15 reunion for the Atlanta Housewives. And I don't know why Bravo be play hating like this, taking forever to release the trailer, but I've got the tea on the seating chart, what everybody wore, and I know that if you got your ear to the street, you heard about how Bravo has been really pissed because apparently somebody from the group actually leaked the all cast photo, so you know that I'm here to stir the pot. Bro, who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball, I know I'm making the peace. It's Justin Diego back with another binge worthy video. And today, it's not really the official Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15 reunion trailer day, but let's talk about everything that you need to know about this RHOA season 15 reunion before Bravo decides to wake up and drop the visuals in the next few weeks. In a very interesting turn of events, the cast photo started circulating around the internet after a fellow Real Housewives of Atlanta commentator leaked it on Twitter, deeming it a lean exclusive. And I just sat back and looked at everything play out because OG binge watchers already know that I learned my lesson a few years ago about leaking Real Housewives of Atlanta content. Y'all, Bravo had snatched up my stuff so fast and shut everything down. It made me vow to never, ever play with them again. That is exactly why when I got this DM on Instagram from a now deleted Instagram account, I just slammed my little flip phone shut and I did not take the bait. I have worked way too hard on Bingeworthy to keep playing those kind of games, but it was funny to me seeing Bravo scrambling to take control over this narrative. Passive aggressively creating this TikTok of Kenya Moore's look, captioning the post talking about, we see your Real Housewives reunion pics floating around, but only we, in all caps, have the official photos, dot, 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 and they're coming soon. I feel as though I, I'm mentally healthy. <laughs> I ain't sure you're the right one for me. Didn't I see you involved? Nobody do it like this. Pandora bag, lucky charm, that wrist. This is real life. I need someone that. Nah, wait a minute. You need someone that. Uh, pick up the phone every call. I can turn the crib to a mall. Now that Bravo has officially released the visuals, we have to get into these looks. The Peach Holders finesse shades of fabulous baby blue and teal, and they collectively ate. The vibes are luxurious and fresh, with some of the most interesting silhouettes that we have seen till this day. I get lost beside you. And I won't be found I would cross the fire If I knew that you'd be waiting They're giving us feathers, sultry cutouts, sculptural details, and brilliant over-the-top long trains and detailing that really feels like there was not even a budget, baby! And I can't say one bad thing about any of these ladies because honestly, y'all, they all ate. And y'all know they had to be extra with Marlo Hampton flouncing all over the streets of New York City knowing that she secured that peach for another season. And Sonya stylist really hooked her up and shared this behind the scenes footage of Sonya getting her gown custom fitted for two. And I think that it is just so cute. Y'all, they're saying that friend of the show, Courtney Rhodes, was one of the best dressed. And honestly, I'm really not mad at her outfit because she looks amazing. And I mean, I can find things to love about everybody with Candy having one of the most unique looks that went perfect with her cute little bob and Magneta just took a chance wearing pants and I feel like it really paid off for her. Kenya Moore, all I can say is I can see why Bravo used your look in their initial reunion promo. It's giving big Aquarius energy. was giving us a little high slit with the single lady hairdo to match and I was like okay Drew you, you kind of did that and I know y'all had a lot to say about Sheree but Sheree was like y'all look <laughs> y'all can say what y'all want to say but baby zoom in because the swelling definitely went down boo girl you make me so proud <laughs> no, for real y'all 
I really don't know about y'all, but I cannot pick a favorite. They all look absolutely incredible. So comment right now and tell me, who do you guys think deserves to be best dressed? And definitely tell me why. Now, I know that this may be a stretch, but let's take it there. Did y'all peep Nini's outfit choice for her tell-all interview with Carlos King? Huh. Am I tripping or does it sort of look like... Huh. Her look perfectly is in sync with the same shades of baby blue and teal that the girls wore for their season 15 reunion. Huh. Hey guys, it's your girl, the original housewife. Yes, the one who started it all, Miss Nene Lee. <laughs> What's going on? Uh-oh. <laughs> I know Nene Leaks was throwing a lot of shade, but was she letting us know that she's still that girl and she will outshine them in their own little theme and drop her visuals before they do? Or is it just me? What are you about to do? <laughs> what are you, like, what are you about to do? Comment right now and let me know if you guys think that I'm bugging or if I'm on to something. Okay, Bravo has not yet released the actual press release about this year's reunion yet, but let's just be real. We know they're gonna pull three parts out of this reunion, whether it's binge or they're not. So yeah, I've recently learned that there will just be 16 episodes for season 15. So it's easy to expect that part one of the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15 reunion airs Sunday, September 3rd at 8 p.m. Part two airs Sunday, September 10th. And part three airs Sunday, September 17th. And I'm hoping that they will actually listen to our feedback this time. And I pray that they will be able to slice and dice and add some little special effects and flashbacks or whatever they need to do to make this <laughs> reunion worth watching. But we already know that they won't. <laughs> Okay, now we have to talk about this year's seating chart real quick. No, because Bravo, didn't I already tell y'all how I feel about where y'all place our girls? Yeah, Bravo Ain't Slick releasing this official reunion seating chart visual on social media to get all of our girls riled up, placing both Drusadora and Sheree Whitfield in what I call the throne chairs. Because let's keep it real, even though Andy Cohen clearly isn't all that invested in the Real Housewives of Atlanta anymore, it still means something to be seated right beside him because that definitely means that you literally clocked the f in all season and literally kept the viewers watching. You lying. You not. <laughs> now on the right, Marlo Hampton is seated right next to Sheree and Sonya, is it Sonya or Sonya? Because Tanya Sam the one who messed me up. At the end of the day, it doesn't f***ing matter, okay? The bitch is safe, leave her the f*** alone. Like Sorry, girl, I, I'll probably be seeing your name wrong. But I'll just say Sonya is seated all the way on the end since she's pregnant now and probably don't want a lot of smoke. And honestly, I'll allow it. <laughs> Nothing on this right side really confuses me. Now, let's talk about this left side. Uh-uh. <laughs> Y'all, why they got OG, top paid, worldwide, almost EGOT status, still getting residuals literally from Beyonce, Candy Burris, seated all the way on that other end of the couch again? Bravo, at this point, this shit is criminal. And now it's time for my annual segment called, Is Candy Leaving the Real Housewives of Atlanta? No, cause I'm not gonna do it. I did that last year and like y'all got all riled up and like. You're a bad. Yes, of course. I understand that this is not the first time that Candy has been seated in the front of the show seats. <laughs> Yo. But I just feel like things are getting weird and I know she's not gonna talk about it. They not gonna talk about it, but it's my job to talk about it. So I'm gonna keep talking about it. Two. <laughs> Candy recently shared in her Amazon Live last week that there was never a dull moment for this reunion. Because, you know, we just shot the reunion last week. And when I say that there was never a moment in this reunion where I felt like I'm bored. Because, you know, there has been times in the past where I was like, okay, child, they're going to, oh, this is getting cut out because it's boring. And 
it sounds like she definitely clocked in. But this year, this reunion, oh, the girls were trying to come for my neck. And so we're just going to have to wait and see. It was a couple of them. Yeah. Let's chop their heads off and keep them pushing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I personally think that if Candy was ever to leave the show, it would be smarter for Bravo to build that season as Candy's final season. Like y'all better watch and buy y'all peach vibrators and everything and go to L OLG and whatever you gonna do <laughs> to send her off <laughs> as that season pans out. But <laughs> that's just me. I feel like scripted TV do that. Why can't Candy? Just think about that for a minute. Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Are you looking forward to the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15 reunion that will be airing really, really soon? And be sure to let me know your thoughts about all of these shady seating arrangements. Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. Y'all already know how I feel about it. I appreciate it. <laughs> all right, I will see y'all on the next one. Bring it right back, wear it like that, move it like that, like it like, do it like that, kiss it like that.